with Math Geek, and I'm here to teach you how to simplify fractions. Simplifying fractions is real easy. Let me show you. We'll take 4 over 6, for example. Now, our first step is to simply break these numbers down. We all know that 2 times 2 gives us 4. But what about the 6? You guessed it. 2 times 3. Well, now that we've broken these numbers down into a simpler form, what's our next step? Well, what we have to do now is eliminate any like terms. So we can take this 2 here and get rid of it and say goodbye to this 2, 2. Now what we're left with is 2 over 3. If you notice, 2 over 2 is also equivalent to 1. So in all actuality, we're simply multiplying 1 by 2 over 3. So what we're left with is 2 thirds. Great. That's our answer. Let's do another one. This time we'll take 12 over 26. Now just like before, we simply have to break these numbers down. So for 12, we get 3 times 4. And 26 will give us 2 times 13. So what's our next step? Yes, you remember, we have to eliminate any like terms. Do you see any like terms here? I don't think so. So what do we do now? Well, we'll just have to break it down a little further. So now we have 3 times 2 times 2, which gives us 12. And 2 times 13 still gives us 26. So we simply broke the 4 down further to 2 times 2. All right, are we ready to eliminate our common factors? Yes. We can get rid of this 2 here and say goodbye to that 2. So now we're left with 3 times 2 is 6, and the 13 stands alone. Great! 6 over 13. Now that's our answer.